We're going to talk about how to create a uh, first person controller and convert it into a third person controller using your own assets. Okay, so we're starting out with a blank world here. You can see all I have is terrain, a camera, and a light. And I've imported my character controllers from Unity's built-in packages. So that's under Import Package, which is in the Assets menu. And it's called Character Controller. Now in here, we've got a third-person controller and a first-person controller. And we're going to focus on the, the first-person controller in this video. So what I'm going to do is drag that first-person controller right into my game. And you'll notice that this is a pretty simple setup right here. So I've got a capsule, and I've got a camera. And when I press play, I'm going to be controlling this using my mouse and keyboard. Oops, I have to make sure that it's uh, tall enough that it doesn't fall through the ground. But I'll be controlling that with my mouse and keyboard, changing the direction that I look by moving the mouse, and moving the character physically using the keyboard. Standard controls for a first-person game. But because the uh, player can't actually see the character, we just use the capsule to represent the character. It's nice and simple. It doesn't require a lot of work. But what we need to do is change it up a little bit so that we can actually get a custom character in here. So I've downloaded a character called the Spartan King from the asset store. You can see his prefab right here, and right down in the corner you can actually take a look at him. So what I need to do is get him into the game and get him moving. So here's what I want to do. I'm just going to drag him right in, make him nice and big so he's the same size as the uh, capsule here. And I'm actually going to want him to be in the same place as the capsule. So I'm going to move him over so that he intersects with the castle. Ca uh, capsule. There we go. So now they're in the same place. Now, that doesn't really make a difference right now. If I press play, I'm really just looking from his point of view, so I can't really see much, right? In fact, if I move, he stays there. So, the reason that the, the capsule moves with the camera and the Spartan King doesn't is because the capsule, which is called graphics here, is a child object of the first person controller. So you guys might remember that in a parent-child relationship, whenever the parent moves, the child also moves. So if this capsule is a child of the first-person controller, then when I move the first-person controller, the capsule moves, and the camera, which is also a child, moves. So if I take the Spartan King and I make him a child of the first-person controller, then when I move that first-person controller, he will now move with it. So you can see he's moving around. Kind of see the inside of his helmet there. Now, the issue we're dealing with now is that he's kind of living in the same space as that capsule, and we can't really see either of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the capsule so that now all I'm working with is a camera and the Spartan King. And then I'm going to take the camera, and I'm going to move it back a little bit. So now I'll be able to see him. Move it up, I'll rotate it a little so I can look down at him. Now, the camera is still a child object of the first-person controller. So it will still move wherever the first-person controller moves, even though he, the camera and the Spartan King are not in the same place. So when I press play, I can now move around with the Spartan King. I can control it the same way I always did. I can even jump. All the stuff that I could normally do with the first-person controller, I can do in third-person just by moving the camera back a little bit. And if I want to do it with another character, like the Spartan King, I can replace my capsule, the default character, with the Spartan King, my new character. Now, what we haven't talked about is animation and getting him to actually look like he's moving. And that's something we'll save for the future. But this is how you get a third-person going, third-person controller going, starting with a first-person controller and integrating an object that you got from the asset store.